Hello folks, and today we are talking 007 magazine. This was the first 007 magazine I ever bought, and it came out in this version here, it was autumn 1988, and I was a 16 year old uh, apprentice stonemason at the time, and I had to put my order in to the local newsagents. And I would get all excited, get in, hoping it was being in if it had been delivered or not, or if I could go in and get it as such. Uh, and I, I just, it was a, an amazing thing. Again, for, for someone, who, uh, for some of our younger uh, fans, it's hard to believe a time before the internet. So you, you couldn't check out photographs and you couldn't check out um, bios, and, and it was a lot harder to get information on the movies and reviews and things. So publications like this used to be so, so important. Uh, to the fandom and they have a huge place in my heart if I'm honest because uh, they gave me so much uh, pleasure over the years looking at the stuff uh, and enjoying the reviews and looking at the exclusive photographs and looking at the interviews uh, talking about upcoming movies it also had a great thing a thing that I absolutely loved about this was it had a members forum remember no internet so the way that fans could interact where they would get the letters published in the back of the magazine in the members forum section and then they could exchange addresses and then they could almost like do, be, be James Bond pen pals. I mean, uh, how cool is that? So the, that's one of the, what was one of the great things about the 007 magazine back in, well, this was autumn 1988. The 007 magazine was a brainchild of Graham Rye, who was head of the James Bond fan club. And as you can see, he had access to License Revolt, look at that. He had access to fantastic photographs, interviews, and done some great reviews. This version, this magazine here, was damaged by one of my children who spilled a whole can of iron brew over it. No! Moving on. I <laughs> this is a, a more modern uh, publication trying to defend Timothy Dalton uh, and his tenure as James Bond which Licence Defended, brilliant. This one here is a, a full-length review of The World Is Not Enough, and it also has a very touching tribute uh, to Desmond Llewellyn, uh, which was a really, really nice touch. Unfortunately, I don't have too many editions of this magazine, which is a great shame. I really will have to collect more and, uh, and add to, to what I've already got, because it really is an outstanding collectible in the James Bond universe. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Please feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, I'll hopefully see you soon. But as Timothy Dalton would say, time to leave. <laughs>